See this list of names here right here behind me? If you're familiar with any of these names from this list, then you're familiar with the work of KG Tang. He is an actor, a voice actor, who has been around the game for a long time and has voiced some legendary characters popular in many spaces, like from Vegeta to Guts to Gojo, <laughs> in the upcoming um, Jujutsu Kaisen season two, and obviously many more. Like, here you go, got my friend Terry Tablet with me. Look at this. See this? I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. Yeah, the man's put it in work. He's been around the game for a long time. Whether it's video games, anime, like animation, even like, like real acting. Like he's been there. And I had the pleasure of talking to him at Momocon this year. And I could not pick his brain enough because he's done so much. And he's voiced so many characters I wanted to like sit and converse about but didn't get the opportunity to. But while I did have him, I tried to make the most of the time. Talked to him about the upcoming season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. How he came to be in the nerd space and many more. So, before we get started in the interview, I wanted to thank him for his time. Thank you, Mr. Tang, for everything that you did for us at Momocon. Also, wanted to thank you, Momocon, for the opportunity to have him in our space and be able to have this conversation. So, without further ado, KG Tang, Momocon 23 press conference interview, right after the intro. And then after we recorded the first episode, I looked into it and I was like, oh, people really 
hope you enjoy this show, right? Um, and now I am like a huge fan. I am concurrent with the story. I'm like deep in. There's, there's no extracting me. Like I'm, I'm all in it. And um, for season two, I'm so excited for it. But I'm worried because like anime only folks, they've been seeing like these really happy previews, right? Right? Like these super like slice of life, like beach trip, like happy go lucky vibes, right? And I'm yes. like, <laughs> just throw yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> Right, exactly. I feel like we're being gaslit, just like Junpei, like the Junpei thing in the first season. Oh my god. Yeah, um, it's gonna be great. I, I just think they're setting us up with very interesting expectations. You know what I mean? Without getting into spoiler territory. Thank you. Thank you. Acting is such a competitive field. Why don't you stay motivated? Um, I love it. I fell in love with it. Uh, when I was a little kid, I took a theater class in high school and and like, you know, like a few weeks into it, I was like, this is what I want to do. This is so much fun. I feel like acting is a skill that you can increase over the course of your life, but you'll never reach mastery, you know? And I think that's so great. Uh, it's like this thing that you chase, but you never uh, never acquire. And, and it's always something new to learn every day. And I just think that's so interesting. And to be able to see other actors and to see their skill sets and to sort of like be inspired or borrow or just like trade stuff back and forth, oh, it's endlessly interesting to me. So whenever I get a chance to act, I, I put my all in it. And you know, you do it for long enough and you do it well enough for long enough, you know, pe people will start calling you back for stuff. Yeah, it's, it's um, I wouldn't do anything else. It's my favorite thing to do. Hi, uh, Mark from Biography. Hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, you worked on probably one of the most glorious, most violent IPs I have ever been a fan of. And I just want to know what was it like working on Battle Royale? Oh, familiar yeah. with the novel before you got into uh, voice acting with the main Yeah, 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 dude. Yes, I was. I, I had read the manga. Um, I was a fan of the movie before I got to dub it. Um, Battle Royale is a classic. Right? It is it is the granddaddy of like those types of films, and uh, to be able to be a character like Shogo Kawada, who is so cool, like he is just such a badass. I don't know if I can guess. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, yeah, no, he's 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 so cool. Um, I was honored. I was shocked that they were even dubbing, right? Like in my head, I was like, well, it's perfect the way it is. It doesn't need an English sub, right? It's battle royale, you know. Uh, but but being able to step into its shoes, after, uh, into this character's shoes after being so familiar with the story. Um, Sometimes you need, like, if you're not familiar with the IP, right, you need the help of the director, you need the help of the casting person, you need the help of, like, the client to tell you all about the story. For Battle Royale, you just walk in and you're like, no, 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 we know what this is, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was great. It was a breath of fresh air. I didn't have to ask too many questions. Um, the director was like, oh, well, you seem to be very aware of this character. I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Shogo Kawada, what do you mean? You know, like, yeah, yeah, that was, oh, that was a terrific experience. I'm, I love Battle Royale and I would be endlessly honored that I was a part of it in some small way. Thank you so much. Hi. So, uh, big fan of Tekken, big fan of Yakuza. Yeah, Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah, so um, in anime, there's a lot more. So in, in America, lip flaps are king in our industry, okay? So when the characters do this, uh, we have to hit each and every single one of those or try our very best to, right? And that takes a lot of technique and skill and you have to sort of still fit all that good acting in between these windows, right? So it's the single hardest form, in, in my experience, I've done, I think, every form of uh, voiceover there is at this point. Dubbing anime, is still consistently the hardest. Um, and you wouldn't know with how much you get made for it. But um, the difference between uh, that and video games is we don't have to worry too much about lip laps in video games, right? Unless it's like a JRPG and there's just movies we have to dub over. Um, video games generally will shred your throat way more, you know, if you're, if you're part of those Call of Duty games or whatever, you're throwing grenade, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. You know, you're screaming for like four hours at a time. With anime, those big battle scenes only happen like you know every every few episodes. You know you, you get you get some nice dialogue, you get some nice you know uh, story stuff, and then maybe you scream for like you know like twenty minutes, right? Where in video games it's it's full on like four hour session, four hour session, four hour session. You can break, okay, take ten minutes, 
foremost. It's it's brutal, yeah. dude. Like, I would I love video games and I would do them forever, but like, it, it, you really need to be careful on them. You can. I feel like every actor only has so many video games in them before they start sounding like this. You know what I mean? So yeah, main difference is just straighten out your voice. Like that. Thank you so much. My name is Dylan Collins. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, my question is, so a game with like the lip flaps and stuff. Yeah. When you're about to record for an anime or like for another season, how long do y'all start before like the season is actually released? Or, like mm. y'all start production? So generally, it depends if a show has already been out for a while in Japan. Uh, if it's been out for a while, then we have way more time to work on it. Uh, unless it's like, you know, a, a simul dub, in which case we're generally about a week behind um, the Japanese version. Uh, for the amount of takes it requires to do anime, it depends on who you are, basically, you know? If you've been doing this for like a decade, um, your brain has evolved in a way where it's like, okay, I'm just gonna psychically be able to place these in these flaps because I've seen them so many times, I've, I've experienced them so many times. But when I first started doing anime, those lip flaps, oh man, they are killer, right? Because you're just trying to get the line out. You're just trying to be a good actor. And suddenly you're like three words in and the line is finished. You're like, whoa, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? How am I supposed to talk that fast? And the and the director will just be like, you just gotta do it, right? And not only do you have to get it within that time, you have to match each syllable and consonant to each one of these. So I would say to get good at anime, it takes like, to get really good at it, it takes like, you know, almost 10 years. Like you really have to sort of make your brain grow in a way that it just, when you see the flaps, your brain it can offload that information to muscle memory. That's really the trick. It's like it's like fighting games, right? You, you start out your garbage. You know you can't do one fireball. You can't, right? But you know you play for long enough. Suddenly you're doing combos. You're throwing fireballs. You're throwing short youthkins in your in your in your sleep. You know, it, it's it's muscle memory that helps a lot with the lip flaps. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's go. What would you say are the top three characters you got that you felt the most? Most attached to them. And why? Um, the first one would probably be uh, a, a character named Giant, or in, in um, America we named him Big G from Doraemon. Doraemon is this really cute kid show. It's about a little robot cat, uh, has a little pocket, and he's from the future. It helps like a little kid. Um, and the reason why he's my favorite was when I was a little kid, the first thing I ever remember reading was a Doraemon manga. Ever, 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 ever. So to be in the show like years later, oh, well, it was such a treat. It was super nostalgic. Um, the second two, I don't know, man, Gojo's pretty good, <laughs> you know? He's pretty fun, I like him a lot. And uh, for third, oh man, there's a Fire Emblem character that I've always, like, I fell in love with voicing named Owain. Um, he, he's such a good kid, he's, he reminds me of like my theater kid self. So yeah, yeah, probably um, uh, Big G, Gojo, and uh, Owain from Fire Emblem. Thank you so much. Mr. Q is gonna ask, ask gotcha, the very gotcha. last question. Nice to meet you. So you've done a lot of them. Yes, sir. Well, what is your big three? My big three anime? Oh, my personal big three? Oh, oh man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's going to get spicy. Um, it's just like, hey. All right. <clears throat> Number one. <laughs> Number one is going to be a show called Slayers. All right. Uh, back in the day, it was like this kind of fantasy adventure comedy. Uh, Slayers, Slayers Next, Slayers Try. I really love Slayers Next. To me, it was just, so, it's such a perfect show. It, it took its, it didn't take itself that seriously, but seriously enough for you to really enjoy the story. I thought the voice acting was excellent for the time, you know? And um, after Slayers, I'm a big foodie. I love Food Wars. I love Food Wars so much. <laughs> it's such a good show. I know I know. there's a lot of fan service in it and all that stuff, but if you can get past it, like the, the animation on the food, is so stellar, you know. It's 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 incredible, and um, and uh, the third one. <laughs> so this is the this is the spicy one. I love a show called K Cho. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it's the greatest shonen show in the history of anime. Okay. Woo. Um, I'm not gonna go too far in depth with it uh, because of the uh, subject matter, but um. Yeah, it's it's a sports show, 
sort of, right? But the amount of hype and the amounts and the, the animation and the just just um, oh God, what is the word I'm looking for? The energy and passion of the characters that go into it, you forget about the fan service aspect right away. And you're just watching these people compete in something they love. And they then the way they animate it and the and the references and the and the love letters to other anime. Like they had they had a, a Fate Stay Night reference in it, you know, the, the the Gate of Babylon. It's in it, you know what I mean? It's it's so for anime fans and anyone who just love battle shonen, Heijo is number one for Kitchen Jutsu guys. Alright. Keijo <laughs> <laughs> Don't let my bosses hear that, don't let my <laughs> But you know, for Kitchen Jutsu guys, Keijo. Keijo is what it's at. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Alright everyone, thank you. Um, do you have time to take a group picture with our Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. have you come to the moment?